Siren was a survival horror game that came out on the PlayStation 2 back in 2003, uh, at least in Japan. In the US, it came out in 2004. And this is one of the best survival horror games I've ever played. It's one of the most moody, one of the most atmospheric, and one of the most difficult and frustrating survival... No, the most difficult and frustrating survival horror games I've ever played. Siren is infamous for its difficulty. It's hair-pullingly hard. But if you have no problem with a hard video game that's going to require you to die over and over and over again and keep trying, and if you like survival horror, Siren is very rewarding. It has a lot to offer if you can power through that difficulty. And if you are interested in trying that, well, it is a PlayStation 2 game. But it is now easier to get than it was before because it was recently released on the PS4. See? It was released as a PS2 on PS4 game. So like the other PS2 on PS4 games, it's being emulated. Uh, it's being rendered at a higher resolution. The game is now being rendered at 1080p instead of the 480i it was on the PS2. And you can buy it digitally. So if you have a PS4, it's much easier to get it now. And I recently bought it. And I just figured I was going to play it. But I started playing it and I figured, hey, let's do a let's play the game. I wasn't planning to do that. Just an impromptu decision. No planning going into it. No preparation or forethought. Let's play Siren because I want to play Siren. Let's do that. Now this game has quite a survival horror pedigree. Because the director of this game is Kichiro Toyama, who was the director of Silent Hill 1, one of my other favorite survival horror games. Uh, Toyama also uh, was the writer of Silent Hill 1, so kind of kind of the, cr the creator of the whole concept. He directed it and wrote the game, so kind of, I guess, kind of the creator of the whole Silent Hill concept, it seems. I mean, I'm sure more there were more people than him that worked on that, but it seems like he was the head of that. And this is basically his follow-up to that. Uh, the other writer on Siren was Naoko Sato, who was a monster designer on Silent Hill 1. So again, just very, very heavy Silent Hill 1 influence on this game. Except, instead of uh, a horror story taking place in a small American town, this is a horror story taking place in a small Japanese village. So heavy Japanese flavor. Takes place in a Japanese setting, using Japanese horror, with Japanese characters that speak in just the most delightful British accents. What is she doing? Who is it? People have mixed opinions on the English dub of this game. What are they doing? Oh, it's the middle of the night. Who's there? Huh? Who is it? We are thrown right in the middle of things. We have to escape from this cop who is laughing and pointing a gun at us for some reason. What? Why? Oh, oh my god! It's He's coming! Ah! Alright, so let's get started. First of all, let's turn our flashlight turn our flashlight off so the cop won't be able won't be able to see us. At least it'll be harder for him to see us. 
we might use this truck to get away, but we have no key. Oh, there he is over there. His flashlight is on, so we'll be able to see him. But it looks like we've run into a construction site. We were watching some kind of, apparently some kind of religious ritual that we interrupted. But we don't know what it was or even why this character is here. But we do know there is a car key lying on this table. Let's pick it up. Well, I don't really want to shout. That might attract his attention. There are reasons why I might want to attract someone's attention, but right now I don't think we want that cops. Oh, we got something added to our archive. We probably should take a look at what that is. If we could escape this place alive. Nothing here looks really helpful to us. I, I don't want to shout. No, stop pressing that button. Let's turn our flashlight off and see where the cop is. Okay, he's over there. He doesn't know where we are. He can't see us. For right now, let's take a look at what we have with us while that cop is confused. We're Kyoyasuda. We're 18 years old. We're a student. And if we take a look at our items, we have no weapons. How are we supposed to fight the cop? We have a flashlight, but we don't want to turn that on. And we now have a car key to the truck that's outside. The problem is if we try to get out, that cop is going to see us and shoot us probably. So we're going to have to be sneaky. We also pick this up. The Hanada Community Newsletter. And it's from July 2003. It says that on July 3rd, they held the 33rd Hanada Sake Tasting Contest at the Community Center. Oh, good. A police officer won the Sake Tasting Contest. Hmm. Well, we do seem to be confronted by a rather drunk police officer right now who wants to try out his, uh, his marksmanship skills. <laughs> walking towards the door. No, actually he's not walking towards the door. Where are you? He doesn't know we're here. Will he try to come into the door is the problem. Because if he does, I'm not really going to be able to dodge bullets. <laughs> At least he's having a good time. Come I don't think... I don't think he can see me through the glass. Oh wait, he's, he has his back to us. I'm not, if I tried opening the door right now. All right, let's hunch down. Let's try to be quiet. Now I could try to make my way to the truck. That would be the smart thing to do. But this is Siren. And Siren is all about taking the hard path to get the secret stuff. There he, okay. I want to, I probably, I don't know which way he's going to turn next. But I'm going to want to make sure that I'm too, uh, okay, um, uh, maybe I should try to go this way. No, okay, he sees me, never mind, we're running. No, you don't have to say wherever... Oh, no, see? He shot me point blank. Fortunately, we are still going. And I'm somehow dodging bullets. Hold on. I have to turn my flashlight on. I need to... I need to get the collectibles! Now I have his police ID. Oh, he's reloading! That's good, because there's no way I would have dodged that... The bullet that he was about to shoot at me. Uh, hold on. I'm right at the truck. I'm right there. Unlock this door. See, I just could have gone to the truck. But then I would have missed the collectible. Alright, let's get in. Let's get in the truck. Alright, now we're safe. Actually, no, we're not. Uh, but before we start this truck... Uh, yeah. You know what that is. It's another collectible. We got it. You might wonder what this archive is that we're adding things to, but the purpose for that will become clear over time. For right now, let's start this truck and make our escape.
Go us. Good job. Truck beats gun every time. I mean, I guess that counts as escaping. That was our goal, after all. Excuse me? Are you okay? Hello? Oh, oh my god! What do I do? Call an ambulance? Oh! An earthquake! ask us if we want to save even though things did not look so good for kiyoya at the end there it looked like we killed the cop but then a siren started sounding and the cop bot got right back up and shot us off the cliff so even though we accomplished our mission things are not looking too good for him and i think we're going to save here because well this game is made up of short levels accompanied by cutscenes, and I think we're just going to do one level at a time in these videos, so they should be pretty short, but that is the nature of this game. It's how it goes. It's like little mini episodes that take place in different periods of time. You might notice that on that timeline that was moving as we were playing through this, it started off on yesterday, and now we're on day one. Yeah, so there is a, a timeline that goes throughout this game. Some of the levels will be chronological, and some of them will not be. So some of this game will take place out of order. And uh, it's up to us to piece things together and see thing, see how things are supposed to go. We didn't actually get a, t a chance to look at two of the archive items I picked up, so I guess we'll have to take a look at that next time. But... I'm looking forward to playing this game, because like I said, it's one of the best, most atmospheric survival horror games I've played. Now, I guess maybe it is not especially atmospheric with me laughing over it like this, but that's why it's good that this game is now easily available, because the PlayStation 4 is a popular system. So if you are interested in this game and you want to experience it, you want to experience the pure siren experience i would suggest not watching not watching me but buying this for yourself and downloading it and uh playing it at least before you watch these videos because it is uh, it's quite an experience to play through your first time without without someone like me talking over it but we're going to continue on with this with the adventures of well Sometimes it'll be the adventures of Hyo Yasuda, and sometimes it will not be. There's actually a large cast of playable characters in this game. And we're going to find out what happens to them as we play through this. So I am going to save here, and I'll see you next time.